What's up guys, Movie Junkie here and of course we're going to be taking a look at Deadpool 2. Uh, this one is directed by David Leitch, or Leitch, same guy behind Atomic Blonde and John Wick and of course it's written by Rhett Reese, uh, Paul Winwick, Ryan Reynolds, basically the team for Deadpool Part 1. Starring Josh Brolin, we have Zazie Beats, Morena Baccarin returning and of course Ryan Reynolds. So Deadpool 2, which is supposed to be about family if you believe Deadpool. Uh, Deadpool has to bring together a team of mutants forming his own team to protect this boy who has supernatural abilities from a time-traveling badass named Cable. And let me apologize in advance if you're hearing talking in the background. I have some freaking loud ass neighbors who don't seem to want to shut up right now. So Deadpool 2. Um, I have to say, I loved it. Straight up. Listen, I went in when it started. I don't know how many people have seen it yet, but from the first act, I was very worried. <laughs> Let me start by saying that. I, I cannot believe what I just saw. And then the opening credits come in. Of course, we get our James Bond-like credits uh, featuring Deadpool. And you have to read the credits and see. Basically, he's reading your mind at that point in time. So the first act of this movie, for me, was a little rough. It got a little dark, very fast, and I was worried that the tone of Deadpool had shifted too much from the first one. Visually speaking, this movie still is a lot like, it's, it, like, like part one, which is a good thing, because one of the things I like about this movie is how non-polished it looks, you know, for want of a better term. You can see that this is a labor of love. And granted, the first one made a shit ton of money. This one, I was worried that they would polish it up so much and make it very much, um, not a, of course, not an Infinity War level visuals. But I was worried that it would get a little too fancy for what it is. Because this is Deadpool. This needs to be gritty and dirty and messy in all the best ways. So the visuals, I'm proud to say, it's very much like the first one with a little more money behind it. Um, acting wise, what is it to say? I'm not even going to touch Ryan Reynolds. As far as I'm concerned, Deadpool is Ryan Reynolds' spirit animal. Like, he does not need to act. He's just being himself and it works 100%. I'm a huge fan of Morena Baccarin. I loved her since Firefly. I think she's a perfect foil for him here. And I'm, I was glad to see their love story continue, so to speak. Um, the newcomers, Josh Brolin. I mean, is there anything this man can't do seriously? He's definitely Cable. If you've read, if you read the comics, you know Cable. I think he fit the role of the straight man really, really well. I, I love him here. I honestly forgot for a minute that he was Thanos. And I think that is the biggest compliment I could pay him. The, he plays these two characters very differently, in my opinion. So I'm happy about that. And then, of course, we got Zazie Beats. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly as Domino and she she was a winner for me I Domino is one of my all-time favorite comic book characters I always like the characters that are not as mainstream as let's say a Jean Grey or Storm I've always been a huge fan of Domino and how they uh, portray her here again you can tell the people behind these characters know exactly what they're doing um creator of Deadpool, I think Rob, Rob, what's his name, Rob Lightfield, he is part of the team and you could tell the input is there, these characters seem like they come alive off the page and on the screen. And as for the rated R stuff guys, it's as rated R as it gets. This movie, should I say, I say from about the second act, when a certain villain is introduced, I'm not going to give it away. All the way forward after that, it's basically like you've hit the top of that roller coaster and it's just insanity from that point forward. It just gets balls to the wall insane and I loved every minute of it. It just kept getting better and better and better in my opinion. The first act was a bit shaky for me. I, I know what they were going for now, so I'm very happy about it. But it got a little DC there for a minute. It got a little dark. And it did. It wasn't as smooth or rhythmic, I should say, in tone as the first Deadpool. But overall, this movie they nailed it. I don't think any fans of Deadpool are gonna be truly disappointed by this movie. 
and of course you have the post credit scenes that everybody's talking about i'm so glad i did not get it spoiled the best post credit scenes you will ever see i want to see marvel beat this because this was hands down perfection especially if you know the character of deadpool from the comics you know how he thinks you know how he behaves it fit perfectly and it's the reason this movie gets the score it does from me this movie for me it's honestly straight up i think it's a nine out of ten i enjoyed the hell out of this movie i started at a seven when the movie started i reached an eight by the middle act and then as this movie continued eight and a half to nine out of ten that's how i feel about deadpool too the villain in this is a weak spot for me i get what they were going for but i don't know if it's the actor who wasn't really appealing to me so much i it just something about him didn't work well for me as villains go i get i get it i do but it just mm, not quite there but everything else works for me and i enjoyed this movie i'm definitely gonna go see this again and i think i'm gonna laugh just as long and that's gonna be it for me guys so if you like this video please feel free to hit the like button below it's much appreciated uh if you want to subscribe to my channel you can click on my face over there and hit the bell at the bottom so you get notifications of when i release new videos i also do short reviews on screen rant at movie junkie capital m capital j and that's it guys so until next time i'm just kidding i'm just kidding i'm sorry <laughs> bye bye couldn't resist